Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Solid Cup Fitness. It's your boy Ryan back at it with another video. Hey, look, man, remember, remember, we're keeping the mind solid and getting the body cut up. You feel me? Hope y'all doing well, man. Listen, if you're watching this video right now, that means you woke up, right? That means you're blessed. You feel me? So you shouldn't be tripping about nothing, okay? All right, so listen. Be in the house and all of that. I'm gonna start doing more um vlogging, podcasting type of stuff, right? My lady, she mentioned about doing like a solid talk podcast. So I'm gonna incorporate that and start doing more of that. It's like the solid talk with Ryan, but we're gonna do it podcast. All right. So right now though, I'm about to eat a banana, avocado, and have my smoothie. We're gonna do all that. We're gonna make the smoothie right now. So you're about to sit down, eat some of that, drink that, and have a little talk, all right? So, you know. So I hope y'all doing well, man. Hope y'all doing well. It's another day out here. Another day to be great. Another day to do what you didn't do yesterday. Another day to be better than you was yesterday. You feel me? Keep on moving. I always like to preach, keep it moving, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it moving you turn this light on that's the way it's supposed to be man i know we all go through stuff i know we have situations and sometimes you feel like you just want to just just scream and just like yo like this you know just say f all of it you know i, I get that but listen you're going to be okay you know you're going to be okay you got to believe that you got to tell yourself that all the time that it's all going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? We all got situations. We all got problems and all of that stuff, man. So I'm about to make this smoothie real quick. All right, y'all know how I go with the smoothie joint. All right. That's where we at right here. So, you know, I got this joint right here. We got this right here. We got some kale. We got some spinach, all right? This is what I like to make every day to get my, get my, um, you know, my joiner. Let me get some water. Do about eight ounces of water. You know, like I said, my smoothie really don't be like all extravagant and fancy and bougie. My thing be simple. I'm a simple person. I don't like to do all that extra stuff sometimes when it's not really needed. You understand? Uh, it's not really needed. So I ain't going to do all that. I'm going to wash this, finish off, drop that in there. You know, grab a good, grab a handful. You feel me? I'm gonna grab a handful and get some kale. All right, tear that off. Yeah, man, you gotta make sure you're eating right, man. You gotta make sure you're being on. Uh, you eating proper. Like, it's not. Because let me tell you something. You eat proper, you're gonna you feel different, man. Your energy gonna be up there. And when your energy is up there, you can do so much more than the average person that doesn't have the energy that you have. You understand? So it's like, a lot of times people don't realize like, yo, even when you get into like work, right? Even when you go to work and if you have something, if you have a job that's like a physical, you know, labor job, you, you definitely want to make sure that you're in good shape if you're doing a job like that. Hold on, let's blend this up one second so we could just get So I can have more room to put the uh, put the fruits in there. You see that green juice? That's that green juice that you, you should be drinking. That green juice. So I'm gonna add some fruit in there. Yes, you know I'm saying though, when it comes to your job and stuff like that, if you're a man that be doing, or if you're a woman that be doing a physical 
labor job. You want to make sure you're in shape, man, because it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more easier for you, and then you're gonna get more respect at your job. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna get more opportunities to either get a raise or move up because your work ethic is real good because you're in shape. You can move, you're flexible, you're agile, you got energy. You know what I'm saying? Fridge in the refrigerator. So I'll put this back in the refrigerator. Put the fruits back in the freezer. So like I said, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna have a talk real quick. You know, solid talk podcast episode one. And we're gonna keep this going. You feel me? We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna have the smoothie on deck. It's, it look crazy, don't it? I know it look crazy, but you know what's saying here. So the only thing that matters is what is in this smoothie right now. And there's some good stuff. You feel me? So. Oh yeah, one thing about me, man. One thing about me and the way I live. If you're not using, if you're not using certain appliances, plug that junk out. <laughs> so, like for example, if I use this right here, I'm gonna plug it out after I'm done. I don't really leave stuff plugged in like that because you know why? You save on your on your light bill, you save on all of that, and I like to save. I like to, you know, make things simple as possible. Where I don't got to be stressing about money and stressing about bills too much because it's too it's too high and all that type of stuff. So. You got some bananas. They were real ripe. Look at this. They look, they pretty. You got an avocado. I'm about to cut the avocado up, see how it's looking. So we're going to do that real quick. You feel me? I'm going to go cut this avocado up and see how we're looking with it. It's a small knife. I mean, before I didn't like avocado for nothing. I, you know what's funny? I'll eat avocado, but I would not really eat guacamole. So that's the, that's the funny thing about me. I'm just a funny individual sometimes, but I don't care. It is what it is. Yeah, I like when it look like this. When it's like this, pretty. <laughs> that's your pretty, you feel me? Honestly, you're going to knock that. I don't really put too much of my avocado except some, um, some Himalayan salt. You feel me? Pink Himalayan side to drop two little drops on there. And then we go about our business. Give me a little spoon. You feel me? And then what? That's how we that's how we gonna that's how we start in the morning, you feel me? That's how we're gonna start the morning. All right? So you should really you should listen. Morning's gonna be good. The way you start your morning is the way you set the tone for your. Is the way you start the morning is the way you set the tone for the rest of the day. Don't forget that the way you start the morning is the way you set the tone for the day. Okay, so hold on. Let me um, let me change the uh, the tripod that I got. I got the handheld tripod thing. I'm gonna put it on the big boy. The big tripod, we're gonna put it on. We're gonna get it popping, man. We're gonna get it right. You know, this tripod about to give me trouble and shit. Yeah. That's where we at. All right, so, you know, your health, man, your health, like I was saying, 
even when it comes to your job, man. If you're doing physical labor work, for me, let me tell you something about my life. I don't really talk. I'm not. I don't, I don't really tell too much about me like that. You know, so I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start really being more transparent about my life and letting y'all know more about me and how I stay, what I do. Most jobs that I had, it was kind of. It always kind of been physical. You know what I'm saying? I never really had no job to sit down at a computer. I never. I, that was never really my thing to have a job to sit down because I. Because in my head, I already know, and I've seen people, when you have them, um, you know, computer jobs and whatever, whatever, and you're sitting down for hours, especially if you don't get up, stretch, if you don't get up and work out, over time, you're going to gain weight, you know what I'm saying? Just from sitting down on the computer all day, you probably got food on your table, on your desk, you probably eating snacks throughout the work, the work hours, the work shift. You don't really get up and be active. And my thing is always to at least be active, okay? So when you're active now, it, you're, um, you're working on your muscles. You, your muscles is being worked. And it's just a good thing. So, like I said, for me now, I always like work that always, I could work and still work on my body. So, you know, if you're doing any type of warehouse job or anything that involves this is using your body, using your arms to lift things and push and pull. When you're doing those things, you're basically working out. You know what I'm saying? So, I always was like, yo, I got to at least get a job where I'm doing something physical like that. I don't want to just sit down at the computer all day looking at the screen and not doing nothing active. That's going to get kind of boring to me. So let's just say you're doing your job, right? Let's say you got two people on the job, right? And they're both doing the same job, you know, physical labor. You got one dude that's in shape, workout, eat healthy, all this type of stuff, right? You got the other dude that's unhealthy. He's not in shape. He got back problems. He got knee problems. He got all this type of stuff going on, right? He got to take, probably got diabetes. He got to do the whole insulin, get the needle, bop, bop, do all this stuff, right? If the dude that's in shape do that job, he has a better chance of getting a raise. He has a better chance of being, you know, being more respected for the work that he do. He has a better chance of like having more leverage over the other person because when you in the right when you're like healthy, your mind is going to be more healthy. Your mind is going to also be healthy too. You're going to be able to think more clearer. You're going to be able to make your work. You're going to be able to work more efficiently, so you can have a better work shift. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find ways to make your work more easier for you instead of just working hard and you just doing it the hard way because you just don't have no time to think because you're so unhealthy up here too. So dude that's in shape now, he's going to win because the ball's going to be like, yo, I see how you're working. I like how you're getting this much done quickly, efficient, detail-oriented, right? That, that, that person that's in shape is going to have more, is going to get more respect from that job, from the boss, from whatever, than a person that's un, unhealthy or not in shape. The person that's unhealthy or not in shape, that person going to be taking breaks all the time. They're going to take more longer to complete the workload. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be complaining. They're going to have to stop and probably take pills and probably take their shot for their diabetes, their insulin. They're going to, have to do all this stuff. They're going to be talking about how their legs hurt, how their knees hurt. They got to sit down for five, ten minutes just so they could get back up to finish off the work. You're going to, So it's like you, you just see the difference. So working out, being healthy, is not just to say, yo, 
I could get big muscles and I look big or I got a six pack or it's not just for that. It's, it, it, it trickles down into a lot of different aspects in your life. When you're dealing with work, when you're dealing with women, when you're dealing with business, when you're dealing with people in general, you know, even when you want to protect yourself, right? So you want to be able to make sure that you're mobile, you know, mobile, that you're flexible, that you can move quickly, you're swift, you know, you could go up the stairs without having to stop every two steps, every three steps, all of that. So it's way been it's, it's just beneficial in all types of ways, man, just to take care of your body because it also takes care of up here. You know what I'm saying? It takes care of up here, man, and that's where it really starts from. The stuff that you feed your body is going to affect how your mind thinks. It's going to affect what you, what your mind tell you. A lot of stuff. So, yeah, you know, I know we have, everybody is not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to have their times where they slip up. You know, even I do it. You know, for me now, like I said, I might have my times where I might eat me a Snicker bar. I might eat me this. I might eat me that. You know what I'm saying? But this is not like an everyday thing, though. This is not a consistent thing. This is not a thing where I'm living like this for real. Like, yo, I got to have all these snacks and have all this junk. You just have your little cheat days, you know what I'm saying? But you also have to know that, like, yo, moderation. Do things in moderation. Just how, like, you don't want to drink too too much water all the time because that's not good for you either. You want to drink water in, a mod- in moderation, you know what I'm saying? You want to eat certain things in moderation. So if you do have a little snack, that's cool, but also make sure that, you're going to work and you're going to train and you're going to do what you got to do to get back right. You know what I'm saying? Got that to drop my avocado on my pants. Hmm. So I'm just saying. Being healthy, man, living a healthy lifestyle is very good for you. You don't have to be a vegetarian. You don't have to be a pescatarian. You don't have to just, you know, follow these groups and shit. Just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Just eat the healthy stuff that you're supposed to eat that you know that's good for you. You know, do some research. Look up what avocado does for your body. Look up what... um hell or or this does for your body look up these things so you know what you're putting in your body and what it does for you at the same time everything that the, everything you see that uh, everybody else does it might not work for you 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 always have to find out what works for you oh because it's the same thing somebody might eat this and it works for them and they feel great you might eat it and you don't feel as great as you thought it would be because you're not that person. So you want to do your own diligence and and um and find out what works for you, man. You know, but like I said, you want to just work on eating healthy as possible so you can have that energy. Because like I said, for me, everywhere I work, I always get respect. Everywhere I work, People admire my work, my work ethic because I work fast. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that I do, once I once I get it and understand how it go, I'm busting through. You know what I'm saying? I'm busting through. My mind is like, yo, all right, yo, all right. How you gonna do this more quicker? How you gonna make this happen so it could just be more beneficial for everybody? I always find new ways, man. I always find new ways to make the work more easier. I always find new ways to make the work more fun, you know, and stuff like that. But it all comes from me having a certain mindset. And then now when you're at work, 
you have a certain leverage because your boss, your people know that you get your work done without no problem. I don't really like to take breaks like that if I'm working too much. If I'm working, I don't like to stop every time. I don't like to, you know, take too much breaks like that if it's not needed. You know, you got to take a break because, you know, it's the laws and shit. But I, not every time I, I just need a break or I got to sit down because of my back hurt or my knees. So I don't really go through those type of problems, you know, because, like I said, I always make sure that I'm taking care of myself. So now, you know, you probably get a raise because you work so good. You know, you probably could have certain advantages at work because your boss know that you're going to get the work done regardless in a quickly time manner where it's like, yo, you know that even though you've done it quick, it's still right. It's still correct. You know what I'm saying? It's still, still some good work. You're not just doing no BS. So I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just talking, man. Just let you know, like, yo, take care of your health, man. You know, I had certain jobs where I work with um with senior citizens, okay? And when you work with seniors, when you work with, like, older people that's, like, up in age, 80s, 90s, 100, you know, when you, when you work in certain environments like that, you see how important it is to take care of your health. You see how important it is to just know that your body is all you got. <laughs> you feel me? You can't take your you can't take your body, your temple for granted, man. Cause now later on in life, now you might be in a wheelchair. You might be having this machine plugged up and you gotta breathe through your nose and have these things plugged up in your nose and you know, you probably can't use your hand and you can't, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So when I see that and I'm around that and I'm in that environment, I'm like, yo, I got to make sure I maintain and keep on doing what I'm doing. I got to make sure that even though you might not work out every day, but you're at least working out, you still, you still, you still have the, you still have the skill to go into the gym and lift weight. You still had the skill to go outside and run. You still had the skill to be in your house, still do push-ups, pull-ups, dips. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get to the point where it's like, yo, I haven't worked out in three months. No, you don't want to get to that point. You don't want to get there. You always want to do a little something. You always want to work on something every day. If it's not 200 push-ups, 300 push-ups, at least you're doing 100 push-ups, you know? Do something. Take care of your health, man. Take care of your health. So that's all I'm about, man. I'm just, I'm just a um, a, 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 what's the word? An advocate. I'm, I'm an advocate for health. Long time, I've always been like that, man. Always, because anywhere I work, I always had to make sure that my health was intact. So I could perform my best, you know. So then now, even that right there, when somebody see that you work so well because you're in great shape or you're in good shape, that right there could open up so many doors for you because now they, they probably recommend you to somebody else. They probably be like, "Yo, I know somebody. This dude here, good worker. You could use him. You could, you could have him on your team. You could, you know what I'm saying." And then, well, you probably might be getting another job or a better job and stuff like that because of the way you work, because you're in shape. You know what I'm saying? Because you take care of yourself, because you eat healthy, you drink water, all that type of stuff. Home. Huh? I've been in situations like that. You know. So you just never know, man. So just always keep that in mind, like, yo. Let me let me make sure that I get back on track with my working out. Let me make sure I get back on track with eating healthy, drinking water, you know, stretching, 
all that. I got to stretch. I got I, honestly. I, I have to start stretching some more. I be slacking on that sometimes, but that's what it is, though. You know, when you're dealing with girls, you want that blood flow. You know what I'm saying? You want that blood flow. In order to get that blood flow, you got to work out. You got to exercise. You got to eat certain things, man, to have that blood flow. So, you know, when your joint got to get hard, your joint could get hard. You know what I'm saying? And you can please that girl. But if you can't get hard because you got, you know, ED, that's not too good, man. I just want to just give y'all that, you know. You know, I be talking off my heart, you know what I'm saying? I just be talking off, you know, off my heart. This is not scripted. This is not, not scripted, man. Keeping it real. You know, all of that. So, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to go to the park and be outside. Get this workout popping. So I'll see y'all a little later with that. I appreciate everybody that's subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. You know, if you like the video, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you. And all of that, man. So y'all just have a great day today. Y'all stay safe out here. You know, y'all take care of yourself mentally, physically. Spiritually, all of that. All right, it's your boy Ryan. Remember, keeping the mind solid, getting the body cut up. We out here. You dig?